Welcome to this quick Elementor tutorial. By the end of this video, you will be able to create your own Go Back button on your Elementor website or webshop. It's actually a really handy feature for the customer. And a lot of my clients are asking for this when I'm building their website or webshop. So let's just uh, test it out so you can see how it works. Let me go ahead and remove my picture. So right now I'm on the product page. So let's just test this out. Uh, I will navigate to the home page and find a product. Let's just choose this black one. And then when I'm done reading the description or viewing the product, I will press the go back button and then I will be redirected to the exact same place as I was before. So it doesn't matter which page you're on, you will get redirected to the, the same page. Let's just test it out again by clicking a wall clock. And then I choose the white one now. And when I go back, I will be redirected to wall clock. So it's a really great feature uh, for uh, the customer. And it's actually also improving the user experience because it's just so easy. So um, let me go ahead and try to uh, show you how to build this in uh, Elementor uh, control panel. It's uh, actually really easy and it's uh, of course completely free. All right, so now I'm in the Elementor editor. And uh, just for the record, uh, this uh, is the product page of the web shop but it doesn't uh, have to be the product page. You can use this button on any uh, page uh, of your website. It uh, doesn't matter. This is just for the purpose of this video. So as you can see, here is the button. And for now, uh, the button is actually just um, not working. I will uh, go and remove it because I want to show the whole process from start. So uh, I delete this button. All right, so the first thing you are going to do is press uh, the widget uh, icon and search for the normal uh, element of button. I'll just place my button here. So before I go uh, to the next step, I will just uh, make sure that it's visual or the, the design is uh, correct. I like to make the design uh, as the first thing. So. Uh, left. All right. So then you are going to navigate to advanced, or you can also just use this button ID, but I like to go to advanced because I've always done it that way. So down in uh, the ID, you will just give your button uh, a name, and it can be anything. I'll just make something, uh, write something that is easily to remember. So Go back is the name for me. And then I will uh, search uh, here for the HTML code. And you can place this anywhere you like. Uh, it's not something that the end customer can see anyway. All right. So one last thing and then you're ready to go uh, is you have to uh, find uh, this JavaScript code uh, that I will place in the description for you. And the only thing you have to make sure is that the idea that you chose for the button is the same uh, in here. So you can call it whatever you want, just uh, make sure it's the same. All right, let's test it out. Uh, or maybe we should just, before we test it out, style this button so it looks like uh, the other button on the website. All right. Let's hit update and test it out. view page all right as you can see when i press the uh, go back i will be redirected as i shown you in the beginning uh, to uh, the home page in this case um there is also another uh, way you can do this you can uh, download a, a plugin um so you can pass this uh, javascript code into your footer or header uh, maybe you prefer it this way. It's sometimes it's actually better to do uh, that, uh, but it depends of uh, of your website and how your your website is built and probably also your theme. I use this plugin for the purpose. Um, you can use any uh, footer or header 
custom code plugin. All right, thank you for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to make another YouTube uh, tutorial about uh, a certain topic of uh, your Elementor website.